This is the episode you've all been waiting for. It's the Waldston Maidenhead double header. Well, I guess you could have waited for it. These, we're in the worst run of form ever. We haven't won for seven games. Um, we've drawn four out of five. And we're six in the league. Waldston, meanwhile... 22nd, six points off relegation. Then we're coming back for Maidenhead and they're just about down. So a Hartley pool as well. Could be a double relegation for them. That's that that's a bit of a shock in all fairness, that one. But we'll take it as it is and we'll see what's what. As uh Tomaj made his international game there. We're coming back for the Maidenhead game, twenty second and twenty four. If we don't get two wins here then my word, we are knackered. Right, we are though going to promote an under 18 into the first team today. Wade Carrington is going to go on the bench. Oh, no, no he's not. Oh, he's, he's not going on the bench today because he can't, which is a bit of a shame. But, you know, each to their own. We've changed the formation again as we try and stop the rot. That's all what we've got to try and do. We're just going to try and stop the rot and see what's what. And then next season, there's, in the pre-season, we're going to have a little bit of an overhaul as well. Uh, some of the players will be going that are under contract. And uh, we're going to put the emphasis on the youth players like Essel. Uh, Wade Carrington, who I've just tried uh, promoting in, but it wouldn't let me. And a couple of low knees as well. As it stands, we're six. We're going to be playing Halifax in the cup, uh, in the cup, in the playoffs, uh, if it stays that way. We're not now. We'll be playing South End. Torquay have sneaked into the playoffs. We're going to pra praise them. I've done nothing. Well done. You haven't, you haven't conceded a goal. That's what we'll say about that one. Pass it in space. Get them out fairly wide. We need to regroup, distribute it to the fronts. What's the ship way then? Into a fete, back to Waterfall. What a cross that is, and Harriman was there. And how's that not a corner? I'm sure he tipped that over the bar. Didn't he? Did he? I don't know. We've had eight shots, Walston have had one. We can't seem to score. For love nor money at the moment. If you wanted a marriage and a lot of money, you're not going to get it from these strikers or this team. We're, we're not doing very well. Alright, that's better. Ren is nervous. We do have Hudlin on the bench though. So Hudlin can come on. Be that target forward he desires. Here's Boyd then, all the way back to Morrison, into Waterfall. Clifton, Waterfall. Pings one up, Rennie can't get there. Morrison gets it back into Harriman, Rennie, Bergkamp, Clifton. Morrison, Bergkamp, Rennie, Clifton. Ella Ferrillililu. Bergkamp. Pings one up, what's your ship ways there? Rare game for him, he hasn't played that many. Into a fete, eh? pings one in. And Rennie's there and he scores his six of the season. Martin Rennie. Not even a minute into the second half. Oh, maybe it is. Just over a minute into the second half. And he's made it 1-0. We've had 11 shots. This could be the game that gets us back on track. It needs to be the game that gets us back on track, but... Don't count our chickens too quick as Clark has equalised. Oh, for crying out loud. Come on. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. That's not good. What's your ship way then? Pings one in. Shell is there and it's gone over the top. And Fox is coming on. Oops. Is he on? He is on. Of course he is. Ten minutes to go then. It's currently Grimsby 1. Wilds the one. And Ephela really you into right Phillips. Back to Cam. To Charles. And uh, a 
good defensive header there from our defender, whichever one it was. Here's Boyd. Shirley gets the header in. Hudlin's there, though. He plays it back to Boyd and gives it to Harriman, who nearly loses the ball. He's been tripped. Well, it's just ways there, and should that have been a free kick? I think it sh should have. We're going down to seventh. I don't believe this. I really don't believe this. Here's Foster then. Pings one up. We, we could be going out of the playoffs here. Right, Phillips is there, but Mikio there. Safe hands. A bit of second season syndrome in the conference this with Grimsby. What's the ship way? And Hudlin's won it! Yes! That's what we needed. Kyle Hudlin with his 11th of the season has just won the game. A much needed win against a team fighting relegation. We've stopped the rot. We need to armour Maidenhead. Hopefully Wade Carrington will be able to make his debut. We're going to I'm not going to edit this bit. We're just going to carry it on straight through. You get to see the t team that I'm going to put out. Lampard could leave Villa. Is some world news. Well done to Barnett. They've secured a playoff spot. Um, I'm guessing Wrexham have as well. Well, Wrexham have basically won the league. So I don't know why that's not said that they're in the playoffs. It's a bit weird. I'm not going to lie. Um, we've lost 12 games. Unbelievable. What's my record as a manager? Is it good? I don't know. Uh, 157, drew 17, lost 28. Yeah, we'll, we'll take that. We'll definitely take that. I've seen worse. Oh yeah, we had a very random transfer of 500 grand from Feyenoord for some unknown reason for one of our youthies. So, hmm. <laughs> Don't know what happened there with that one. This guy is definitely coming back to be part of the Grimsby Town squad next season. He has had an absolutely blinding season in the Vanarama North. The top of the league. He can play him next season instead. Lower stuff, Braintree, Lamington and Bradford Park Avenue in the relegation zone from that one. Ooh. Now then. Brandon Byam War. Can we get him in? No. Can't afford any of them. Oh, look, then we've got Barnet. Oh, but then the next episode is going to be that triple header. But I'll do some editing for that one because I'll have the time to do it. Right, so, Hudlin's been named in Team of the Week. Right, let's try and beat this maiden head team at about 58 points off relegation. And then we shall wrap up the episode as we do. I'm playing a 4-1-5, that'll do. <laughs> That's all right. We'll take that. We'll, we'll we'll fool them a little bit. Bloody hell! We can't keep up with this. Well, unfortunately, Maidenhead, you're uh, gonna have to because that's what I'm playing. A four one five. Louis Boyd seems to be uh, doing the business as well, which is good for the youngster. He's definitely staying, and uh, we've got a free kick here. It's Rennie with it, and Rennie. What a goal! That's 1 0. Two minutes in. It's in the third minute. And uh, yeah, we'll definitely take that goal. 
That's one of those. That's a shit way into Harriman back to Bergkamp. Who, oh, that was close, wasn't it? And then he's hammered it down the alleyway, I think. But uh, yeah, that was that was quite good. That we'll we'll take that. Brendan have had four shots, none on target. Clifton's got it now, and uh, we've had all four shots on target. Even though maybe they'd have had more than us. Apparently, no shots on target out of five shots means more XG, obviously. Uh, here's Regba then. Uh, Fete wins it back into Waterfall this time. Plays up to Bergkamp with the, with the little one yard pass, which was absolutely pointless. Aqua, Bassi, Jeffries, Groom. Yeah, I saved it. I was going to say, I didn't know what happened then. And. Uh, Gurung's got it into Jeffries, Bassey, and that's the end of the highlight. There we go. And now it's a corner for Usher Shipway. Pings it in. Shirley gets his eighth of the season. He's finally scored after so long. We should have put Edwin Essel in to try and get his first goal. That'll, that'll come by the end of the season. I'm telling you now, folks. We're going to need to look at the UTs next season. So this wage budget out. And uh, oh, he, he missed that. So all right, well, thank God for that. He's, he has missed. Well, we've both had seven shots. We've had five on target. They've had nine shots now. And uh, we're going into the break. 2-0 to the good. We'll definitely take that. Having been buoyed. Boyd scores again. That kid is definitely earning his bread. Is it? Is that what I say? Earning his crust, isn't it? Not bread. Earning his earning his crust. I think that's how I say it anyway. But he's definitely doing whatever the saying is. Uh, a couple of goals now. A couple of starts. And uh, Kyle Hudland's going to be coming on to see the game out instead of Rennie. What a goal he had at the beginning of the game, just three minutes in. Uh, and now I can't make any more changes, even though it's telling me Waterfall needs to come off, but he's not. Because he can't make any more. What's your ship by then? Pings it in. And Waterfall, but he's offside. Ugh. Was he offside? I don't know how you get rid of this. Somehow from the free kick, I doubt he was stood there. Was he? Which is shit way. Shirley just puts it over the top. That could have been goal number four for Grimsby. Gurung, Afete, Key, Aqua, Barat, and Makio now with an easy catch. Plucked it out the air like he was playing netball or something. There's Regaba. And Magaba gives it back to Sadoff and Bergkamp feeds Shirley in and Shirley's just kicked it straight at Henry. I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. Usher Shipway then. Come and get a fourth. Hudland put that wide. Usher Shipway's played absolutely outstandingly today. In a 3-0 win against Bond in the Middle of the League, this is what the episodes mean to us. This is what the episode should be when we're Grimsby Town in the National League. We do have a game in hand over the teams below us. But above us, we haven't. So, we could well be six points clear uh, come the end of... I've got something on my leg. Just one second... But, uh, yeah, I think, I think Maiden Edda are about down, unfortunately. We will keep our eyes out. We'll do a little episode towards the, uh, towards the end. And we'll go down the leagues from the Premier League all the way down to the National League North and South. Uh, but that is it for this episode. Join us next time for the big double header. Hartley pulled away. South End at home and Weymouth away.
they await us. Great 2 1 win and a 3 0 away win against a team that are probably are they relegated yet? Near enough. Ooh. Right, guys, that's it from us for today. Take care, everybody. We'll see you all soon. Goodbye.